an Angel Gate original, two scoops, Casey Spinelli, one of the most charismatic and popular here in Angel Gate since this project launched in March of last year. No one has been more synonymous with Angel Gate than KC Spinelli, and what an opportunity. Two scoops could be walking out of here with her third championship as she is currently holding two championships outside of Angel Gate. And Paul, you want to talk about being live? Our main event is happening right now, the championship matchup. Two scoops did not want to wait. And we're moments away from the Angel Gate Championship being decided. That's what they say when you're live and in color, anything can happen. Hey, we're going to get this off with a big bang, and we're going to start with the main event right now. We're starting with the big bang. Ronnie Nicole, the Angel Gate Women's Champion, a young lady who is one of the most dominating and physically imposing athletes on the independent circuit. And you can see she is very, very confident. Mm, that is true. Uh, last time in this building, she took on Annabelle in an impromptu challenge, and she decimated Annabelle. Ronnie Nicole spent four years in Japan. She is an expert at the traditional Japanese strong style. Two Scoops is very, very technically versed. I believe two scoops will have to stick and move here because she does not want to be boxed in by the, the uh, international headhunter, Ronnie Nicole. Once again, my name is Jim Amata. He is the legendary Paul Atlas. We are live in McKeesport, Pennsylvania for Angel Gate Wrestling. We certainly thank you for joining us here on iPay-Per-View from wherever you're tuning in because we are live across the globe. And as you mentioned, Casey Spinelli sticking and moving, working on the legs of big, big, big uh, Ronnie. Chopping the tree down, absolutely, Paul. And two scoops immediately trying to get Ronnie down to the canvas. Yeah. And there's the, the wise presence of a champion, showing the uh, IQ of a champion, so to speak. That's immediately, it. Ronnie Nicole takes to the floor and holds any of KC's momentum. That's the wrestling equivalent of a timeout. When you're a well-versed veteran like Ronnie is, you use everything to your advantage. And Ronnie Nicole is just a vicious, vicious athlete. Make no mistake about it. She's biding her time. She knows exactly what she's doing. Again, still uh, looking very confident, but she doesn't want to yeah, sleep on two that. scoops. You do not turn your back on your opponent. And that may have been a ploy. Nicole may have suckered Spinelli in there. A look out. Again, Spinelli avoids the contact using that quickness and throwing some shots. See, she got the champ on Dream Street right now. Oh man, Nicole caught her. And Spinelli's got nowhere to go. Paul, you can appreciate this. A throwback, the bear hug, where Ronnie Nicole, the international headhunter, will look to squeeze and constrict the breathing of the challenger. Exactly what she's doing. She's putting pressure on the rib cage, the diaphragm, and the lungs, trying to sap the oxygen out of KC Spinelli. And the lower that Ronnie gets, the more pressure on the rib cage. And you can see the pain etched on the face of Spinelli. A very basic move, but very deadly as well. Oh, it's elementary, but effective. And finally, Spinelli fights her way free, but how much does she have left to follow up here? Oh, but you also notice she, that, that, that Ronnie dropped her straight on her back. Again, impact on the ribs and lungs. And again, driving all the air out of Spinelli. Of course, Casey Spinelli, a native of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, just won of several international women athletes you're gonna see on the card tonight. But right now, Toronto's Spinelli is being choked, having her breathing asphyxiated by the international headhunter. I'm telling you, everything that Ronnie Nicole does is with malice and intent, trying to asphyxiate the challenger here. 
and you want to talk about the vicious side of Ronnie Nicole, she is enjoying dishing out this punishment. If you look on the champ's face, she does definitely is. Paul, if you can, speak to the international travel of Ronnie Nicole. What does it do for a competitor when they immerse themselves in an entirely different wrestling culture as you heard the contact there? Well, Jim, learning different styles, learning different techniques, it can only make you a better athlete, a better competitor. The more well-rounded you are, the more success you're going to have in this business. And Ronnie Nicole has proven that right now. And this is where KC does not want to be. You do not want to be boxed in the corner against the international headhunter, who, as I said, spent four years full-time in Japan. And she's got Spinelli all hung up. Spinelli's got nowhere to go. Vicious crossface. She may have caught Spinelli in the throat there. You notice that much of Ronnie Nicole's offense is trying to sap the air out of KC Spinelli. That's just right. If you can't breathe, you can't fight. Spinelli kicks her way free. A desperation maneuver. She's trying to create some space here. Oh, look out. Ronnie's got her. Another Branson impact down move. to the canvas. Shoulders down here. And even in that exchange, something as elementary as a pinfall attempt forces Spinelli to extricate the energy to escape there. Now going to a, to a leg vice again, working on the air, working on cutting off the oxygen to Casey Spinelli. And if you're Ronnie Nicole, this is exactly what you want to do. Oh, this is this is definitely sound strategy. Paul, I'm, I'm sure we can let our internet pay-per-view viewers in on this. Casey Spinelli, she got to this building just a few hours ago. She had to fly in from Toronto. So you have to wonder if there's any jet lag for Spinelli. I'm sure that's playing a factor right now, too. And then to not wait the entire card to come out tonight in the main event, she's doing it right now, right out of the Look gate. this. Nice leverage maneuver. Had the shoulders pressed momentarily, but Ronnie Nicole was such a savvy ring veteran, she wasn't going to let Spinelli escape with a fluke win. And like I said, this attests to the kind of an athlete that, that uh, Casey Spinelli is. She could have waited till the end of the evening to have this match and rested up a little bit from that flight. But she chose to come out here right now, right out of the gate at the beginning of our live event and take on Ronnie Nicole. I'll make no mistake about it, Casey Spinelli has built her career on technical ability and tenacity. It's one of the reasons why these fans are so drawn to KC Spinelli. She has a real magnetic personality, but she may get very, very hurt here because she is in there with a real bruiser. And she's trying to get the champ over. Champ trying to use that leverage to, to not get pinned here. And you can see the resiliency of Spinelli trying anything she can to get Nicole's shoulders to the canvas. out here. Ronnie Nicole yeah, got her over. over. Shoulders down. New champ. No. That was great. That was very close, Jim. And can you imagine the egg on the face if Ronnie Nicole has shown up here at the beginning of our internet pay-per-view, but back to the bear hug. There she goes again with that bear hug. Once again, that vice-like maneuver, sapping the energy and sapping the breath out of Casey Spinelli. You know, Paul, if you can't Explain how the wind of a competitor comes into play. Well, it's like I said, if you can't breathe, you can't fight. Every Oxygen fuels all the muscles, correct? Exactly. Not to mention, every time you try to move, every time you try to draw breath, it's more and more painful to try to do that when your oxygen has been taken away from you. Spinelli trying to regroup here. She was very smart to try to uh, head to the floor. But Ronnie Nicole will show no yeah, success. I, I don't think she's going to get much time on air alone. Here comes Ronnie Nicole right now. And look at Ronnie Nicole grinning like a Kesher cat. She, she is enjoying dishing out this punishment as, again, she's targeting the ribs in the midsection of two scoops. Trying to knot up the hamstring. That is nasty. That's what I'm talking about, Paul. Everything that Ronnie does is with malice and intent. Nothing is by accident. It's deliberate. It's very deliberate. Everything we've seen out of her tonight, there's been a reason behind it. Look out. Spinelli 
fighting with a sense of urgency. But now we know she's on borrowed time. Anything that she can get her hands on here, she's gonna put to use. She's had her breathing restricted. She's walking with a limp at this point. Yeah, but she's still firing back on the champ right this now. This is the tenacity we were talking about, the resiliency of two scoops. She's firing herself up here, looking to make history on our very first eye pay per view. Very smartly breaking that referee's count. She knows she's got to either pin or make Ronnie submit to get that, cha that championship. Make no mistake about it, KC knows the stakes here. She wins this championship. She's adding more gold to her resume. And Ronnie falls into the table. This one is getting nasty. But we knew ahead of this one, there was a lot of animosity between these two because Two Scoops has been so synonymous with Angel Gate. I believe Ronnie thought that Two Scoops was a kind of improved approaching on her territory. Now, Ronnie believes Angel Gate, she thinks she runs the roost. Hey, when you're the champ, you're on top of the mountain. You have every right to think you run the place. And again, Spinelli cut off. When you're around the, the ring frame, those wooden barriers, and the concrete of the outside, that plays right into the, right into the hands of Ronnie Nicole. There, there is no padding outside that ring whatsoever. Ronnie Nicole stalking Spinelli. I mean, really enjoying what goes on here. But again, we're seeing the trademark resiliency of two scoops. Oh yeah, there's a lot of fights still left in the challenger. Don't you even think otherwise. And you heard the contact there. Casey Spinelli wants nothing more than to pin Ronnie Nicole and take that championship so she can be the top of the mountain at Angel Gate. She's synonymous with, the, with Angel Gate, as you said, Jim, but now she wants to be the champion as well. On this platform, on this night, where we are quite literally making history, who is going to walk out of this building the Angel Gate champion? Two scoops is feeling it. But again, Ronnie avoids the contact and driving all of the wind out of Spinelli. Right again to that midsection and ribs. A systematic game plan being put into play here by the champion. And a kick to the spine. Again, just a real nasty side of Ronnie Nicole. And more of that Japanese influence. I tell you, I've been in the ring with, with Japanese competitors. Those kicks are deadly. Ronnie could be looking to end this thing here. Again, the ever-confident champion, always taking time to tutor own horn. Oh man, she hit Spinelli right in the crown of the head. That was just a straight right hand. Again, just a nasty, and you can see the contact there. And I'm not quite sure. I think Spinelli may be out. Ronnie Nicole may be the only thing holding her up right now. Two scoops could be on borrowed time. And you can tell that Ronnie Nicole is taking this opportunity on internet pay-per-view to showcase everything in her playbook. Oh, she's got caught. But she's gonna pay for it. Oh my God, Nicole dropped right on the back of her neck. She could have broke her neck there. The complexion of this championship matchup changing before her eyes here. Does Casey Spinelli have enough? She's gonna have to dig down deep after the punishment she's taken so far. The champ is definitely out right now. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if her neck was broken the way she fell on that mat. Can, she, can two scoops press the advantage? And to your point, Paul, Ronnie Nicole was clutching her neck there. For the first time in this matchup, the champion is in some serious jeopardy. But has Casey Spinelli taken too much punishment to pull it out? Spinelli counters through. Swing and a miss from the Colt. Two scoops whirling the shots. Swing and a miss from the big bag. But the challenger continuing to connect. 
Trying to chop that tree down once again. She has the champion reeling. Discus clothesline, Fors running a cult. She needs to get over there and make a cover right now. She may have this match won if she can. Oh, Paul, new champ. New champ. But again, the Angel Gate champion showing exactly why she's held onto that belt for several months. Yeah, she did not become champion by accident. She's just going to take a lot for her to lose it. If you're Spinelli, where do you go from here? You may go down to the canvas because running the cold set up. has Spinelli up. Samoan drop. And drove the challenger down once again. And, and Ronnie's just never going to miss an opportunity to show her. No, I think she was just telling everybody she's number one. Always with the Pravada. But then again, maybe that's why she's such a dominant champion. She's not short on confidence. Well, you have to be confident to be the champ. Now look out. No water. Uh, nobody home on that one for sure. Ronnie Nicole got overconfident and paid for it. I'll tell you what, win, lose, or draw, you got to give Casey Spinelli all the credit in the world. She is hung in there with the champ so far. Look out. Spinelli plants her down, hooks the way. We got it. New champ. Take New champ. Here. Unbelievable. We have a new champion at the beginning of the evening. First match in a historical night of high pay-per-view. 